Woohoo! Yeah, it's not done. Yet. On July 20th, 2023, officers from the Middleton Police Department responded to a 911 call reporting a woman asleep in her vehicle and unresponsive to attempts to wake her. Their prompt arrival at the parking lot aimed to assess the situation and ensure the woman's well being. Can you take your sunglasses off, please? I'm in, I'm in heels, so. Yeah. Hi. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm positive. Okay. <laughs> Upon arrival at the incident, the police found the female inside the vehicle asleep. Officers approached and instructed her to exit the vehicle. As she complied, they observed her stumbling while trying to sit on the curb, which raised concerns about her well-being and possible impairment. I, I know you're all in. Do you know where you are right now? Where are you? Okay, where? I was in, um, at the, uh, around by the market, um, the Market Street Apartments. Why are you at the Market Street Apartments? I'm, I'm visiting a friend there. You're visiting a friend at the apartments here? Okay. What's your name? My name's Katie. Katie? Okay. So you understand why I'm talking to you, right? Not really. You were asleep behind the wheel of this car with a cigarette hanging out of your mouth and then people tried to wake you up. Or did he have a No. That was like 200, 287 days today. 287 days sober. Okay. What I'm seeing looks like you used very recently. Like you're nodding off mid conversation. So that's why I'm asking you to explain this behavior. What's going on? Why are you acting this way? Is, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's perfectly fine. It doesn't look okay. It doesn't look like you're. No, just, just... I don't want you to fall. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to fall. <laughs> okay. I'm perfectly good at heels. Okay, well, you already fell once, so that's why I'm worried. Mm -hmm. That's why I had you sit down. So, what... You said your name's Katie? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The officers maintained a close watch, monitoring her condition closely to assess whether medical attention was needed and to determine if further investigation into her state of impairment was warranted. How do I spell that? K-A-I-T-I. K-A-I-T-I. Mm -hmm. What's your middle initial? And your last name? Oh, I don't no. want to smell like smoke. I don't want you smoking right now, okay? Because then I have to smell like that the rest of the day. I, oh, it's nothing. Okay. I'm not trying to be rude. I just don't want to smell like smoke. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I just Is there an apartment number there? At Who are you here to visit? Can you put your phone down? I'm asking you some questions. Hello. Can you put your phone down? Yeah, of course. Right now. Put it now. I'm busy talking to you. That's really rude. To ignore me and start texting on your phone while I'm asking you questions. It's rude. Do you understand that? Yeah, I, I hey, understand that. I'm just trying please to... Please, pay attention. This is important. Yeah. If it doesn't look important already, I'll came... tell you. It is important. Yeah, no, I, I, was, he I was here already this morning, and I came... Um, I came back, so... Okay. Who are you here to visit? Who am I here to visit? I'm here to visit one of my friends, Tony. 
Tony. Okay. How do you know Tony? Uh, I know Tony. You know another mutual friend. Okay. How long have you guys known each other? No, I'm trying to for about two months. Okay. What's the relationship like? Friends. Friends. Okay. What were you guys planning to do today? What's the view for real? What was that? Don't you think? Yeah, it's a beautiful day, but what were you going to do? Okay. Go um, around the pool, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Do you know what apartment yeah. he's in? Um, I don't know the exact number now. Okay. Do you know his last name? I'm just trying to verify that what you're telling me is actually the truth. Um, no, I don't know his last name. Do you know his phone number? I mean, yeah, I know his phone number. Okay, can I have his phone number? I'd like to chat with him and see what's going on. Can I have his phone number so I can call him and see what's going on? See if this is actually what's really happening. Yeah, I. Six oh eight. Like I told you earlier, you don't look sober. No, no, I'm I'm staying here. Okay, but yeah. what are you under the influence of? Oh, I'm under. I'm not under. You definitely are. One hundred percent. It's clear. That's the problem with being impaired by drugs and alcohol is it's harder for you to tell how bad it looks. Right, I understand. You're definitely high or drunk or both. What are you on? What are you using? I'm not using anything. Okay, then why are you impaired? What's going on? What's nothing. in your system? I, nothing. I literally just went to go grab coffee. Okay. I literally just went to go grab coffee. Were you drinking? No. Want to try my latte? It's caramel. No. 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 All right. So it, just just be straight with us. Just just tell us what what's going on. You either took drugs or you're on or drinking alcohol. It's one or the other. This no. is not normal behavior. Yeah. No, I'm not drinking or doing drugs. That doesn't match with what I'm seeing. So I hear what you're saying. You're saying I'm not using anything. Mm -hmm. I thought you but said. you can barely stand. You're not Based on her physical appearance and behavior, which suggested possible intoxication, the officers decided to administer a series of standardized field sobriety tests to confirm their observations. I can, off while I you're can barely to me. stand. Yes, I'm you standing can barely perfect. stand. You I'm, already fell over once. I'm standing perfectly fine. All right, I'm not going to argue about how well you're standing. What I'm trying to tell you and what I hope you understand is you're trying to smoke an unlit cigarette. You're having I trouble know, I was standing up. I was, I know your I was speech trying. is slurred. You were asleep in your car. You're on something. And for whatever reason, you keep lying to me about that. And I don't know why. No, I'm going I'm go, going here to see my friend bring bring him his sandwich in. And you were here already once this morning. You left and you said you just came back? Yeah. Okay. I left to go get... I left to go back there. Okay. Um, were you here overnight? Mm -hmm. All right. Got it. Well, my concern is that you were driving your car in this state. And I'm worried that that's not very safe. Right. Yeah, well, I'm... I'm no, I was... Just sitting here. Um, how long have you been sitting there in the car? Not long. Not long. Okay. Well, it was long enough for someone to be worried about you, then to call us, for me to drive here. So how long was right. it, do you think? Probably was, I know I was on my phone, so it was probably, was Was there anyone else with you? Uh, when you went and grabbed your coffee, was there anyone else with you then? Uh, and 
you were driving to go get coffee and we drove back? Oh, no, no, no. My, uh... have a seat on the, the curb, but that's what we were trying to have you to do for right now. Who is it that you're texting? Man, what was that? I said, who are you texting? My mom. Your mom? It always sucks with your sunglasses with the bridge of your nose. Mm -hmm. It always gets super sweaty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're if you're visiting and staying here, here, sorry, can you just take a step back? You just keep oh, getting you I, keep oh, getting I'm closer. Sorry. Here. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to make you talk. Yeah. No. I mean, we can we can talk right here and have a conversation. So if you're staying here. How come you were sitting in the car versus going back in the apartment? Fish, I was going to be finishing up my cigarette. You're finishing up the cigarette. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So you're revoked. You shouldn't even be driving. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Do you have yeah. any priors for drinking and driving or using drugs and driving? Not that I know of. Okay, well, it says you have two priors. You told me you have a history with heroin. Were you ever arrested? Who's I ever arrested what? Were you ever arrested for a drug offense? Who's I ever arrested for a drug offense? Um, yeah, I was not sure what's that. What's that? Where was that? Um, I don't know. Here. I think it's not. I think it's not. Yeah. 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 I had to go to drug court and I served a sentence. Tasks typically included in these tests involve walking in a straight line, standing on one leg, and tracking an object with the eyes, all of which help officers determine the extent of impairment accurately. For failing drug court. Okay. So I thought that they, that they put the, okay. the, the, I had, a, you know, yeah. a list of them and I thought that they, they, you know, they would reduce it if I, completed the program, they would reduce it to okay. the one felony. Got it. That makes a little bit of sense, I think. Um, what I want to do is I want to run you through some tests, okay? Uh -huh. I want to make sure that it's safe for you to be behind the wheel of the car, because you were driving all morning, and make sure that you're okay, because what I'm seeing doesn't look great. It looks like you're, you know, intoxicated. So I'm going to have you stand right over here. Can I You bet. Thank God. They're killing my feet. <laughs> I only pull them out like once a year, if that. The women that are like all about wearing heels, more power to them because these things hurt. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't doubt it. 
Oh. I love that MC. Do you have some sandals in here? Do you want those? Oh, I do have my Nike sandals in there. Do you want those? No, that's okay. Okay. Just leave your shoes. Oh, I'm too, I'm too, I'm too, I'm too good. I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> okay. So, what I want you to do, stay with your feet together. Yep. Take your glasses off for me. Yep. Can you put your cigarette down too? You're not going to smoke it right now. All right. So, you can face me. I'm actually going to have you take that phone and put it by your stuff too. I want to make sure there's nothing that's going to get in your way or make this difficult, okay? Yeah, I'm going to think steady to tense. Yeah. Put it my way. It's yeah. it's a good like thing to have it around your neck. It's always there, I but don't want it. Um, take a step way. away from your stuff just because I don't want you to trip on it. There you go. Feet together, heels and toes touching. Rest your arms down at your sides. Don't move from that position unless I tell you to. Okay. okay. So this first test is an eye test. Can you see my finger? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any head injuries or any other problems with your eyes that I need to know about? What I want you to do is follow the tip of my finger with your eyes only. Do not move your head. Do you understand? It is important. I know it's hard and your eyes are way out, but I need you to I keep... Directly in my face. Do you want to move so it's a little more comfortable yeah, for you? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Just I'm around. so sorry. <laughs> is this better? Yeah, much better. Much better. So we'll just kind of start over, okay? okay. So you're, you're kind of looking this way, which means you're moving your head. The whole point is to get your eye all the way out as far as you can look and hold it there. And if you put your eyes way out to the corner and then you turn your head, your eyes are still... Oh, so if I can't even see your finger, it doesn't matter. That's fine. I just want oh, your eye as okay. far out as it can go, okay? Oh, okay. I apologize. I didn't know that was part of the, part of the game. Yeah. <laughs> that is part of it. So let's try it again, okay? Mm -hmm. Move your head again. Yeah. Keep it straight and just follow it. All the way out. Stay right here. Yep. Just stay there. All right. So for this next test, what I want you to do is just imagine a straight line in front of you. Okay. Okay. Or you can use. That I was going to say, one. can I cheat? <laughs> let's use. Let's use this one then. So why don't you stand here? Okay. Put your left foot on the line with your right foot in front of your left foot. I need your right foot in front of your left foot. Oh, I'm sorry. Alright. Rest your hands down at your sides. Don't move from that position unless I tell you to, okay? Alright. When I tell you to start the test, I want you to take nine heel to toe steps down this straight line. On the ninth step, move your front foot on the line. Use a series of small steps to turn around and go back. It's going to look like this. One. Two, three, all the way to nine. Leave your front foot on the line. As soon as the small steps turn around and go back. One, two, three, all the way to nine. Okay. While you do it, look at your feet, count your steps out loud, keep your hands at your sides. Don't stop the test until you feel you've completed it. Okay. Do you understand? Yep. All right, go ahead and begin. One.
After completing these tests, the suspect also underwent a breathalyzer test, which measures blood alcohol concentration level. The results indicated a BAC of 0%, revealing no presence of alcohol in her system at the time of testing. Passing at 30 seconds, when you, you think it's passed, 
say stop. Okay. Do you understand? Yep. Are you ready? Yep. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I thought the moving of my head down meant that I was done. Ah, that's <laughs> fine, because that's when I stopped it. Okay, okay. good. <laughs> Anything to drink recently? No. Nope. No? No, I'm not. Besides my last day. I'm no. not a drink. Got it. This should be a really, really easy test then. Zeroes. Just pull out of the tube. Since the female suspect was not providing sufficient information about herself, the officer decided to take her into custody. The officer proceeded to arrest the female suspect, placing her in the patrol car and transporting her to the police station for further investigation. Um, oh. Yeah, thanks so, for telling him. No, we did, it's just. I, I'm just making know. jokes. I, I don't know who you <laughs> I'm are. just making jokes. Okay. Um, is there anything in your car that you shouldn't okay. What I'm seeing is very, very much leading me to think that you have used drugs recently. Mm -hmm. Definitely sooner than 280 days ago. So you used marijuana yesterday, you said. Okay. What other drugs did you use yesterday? I haven't used any drugs. When was the last time that you used any street drug any other than street marijuana? Two hundred and eighty something days ago. Okay. And I'm very proud of that. Okay. That's concerning because what I see doesn't match up with what I'm yeah, what I these understand, tests show. I understand, I understand how Do it you works. have any way to explain what I'm noticing? Well, no, my, my only explanation for it is that I was smoking a cigarette and just enjoy, I mean, just listening to music and just sitting in my car enjoying it. But I brought that, lug my purse up and... Okay. And you're saying there's absolutely nothing in that car that you shouldn't have? No drugs, no weapons? Okay. Can I search? normal question for a cop to ask someone that's passed yeah. out behind the wheel, right? Yeah, that's fine. But you don't need to search it. I mean, I literally just, I just went to get my coffee and I'm just going inside. Okay. So I'm just going inside. Okay. I'm going to hear for a minute with him. When you used to use, you said you used to use what? Heroin. Heroin. How did you use it? Did you uh, inject it? Did you snort it? I you smoked it. You smoked it? Yeah. Okay. The yellow, the yellow lines are like cooler on my feet. Than the you can smell. stand on the grass if you want. Oh no, I know. I was just, I was just... So you used to smoke it. How did, how did you do that? Like, what kind of paraphernalia did you use? I don't like to talk about it. Honestly, it's triggering. <laughs> Because we're just, again, we're just trying to figure out I get what, it. what's I understand. going on. Because you the, the, the behavior that you're exhibiting is not normal behavior. This is, it's me. It's me. Mm, I promise. Mm, it's normal. You know, mm -hmm. I've, been a, I've been a cop for a long time, and people don't just mm -hmm. randomly act like you're acting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was just bringing my coffee back. I was about to wash my face. I'll get all this makeup off. Mm. 
And I literally left my clothes. My, I left my clothes in the washer but I put them in the dryer. And who did you say you were riding with? What was that? Who did you say you were riding with? Pete. Pete. And who's Pete? He's, he's my boyfriend. Pete's your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's Pete's last name? Pete. Okay. And where is Pete? Live? I know it sounds fake, but I swear to God, that's his name. <laughs> okay. Where Where does Pete live? Um, on Trader Road. On Trader Road. Yep. Okay. So both you and Pete were over here visiting somebody. Or no, 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 no. Okay, well, I asked who you're riding in the car with. Yeah. Okay. So. I, yeah, I no, I went to Straight Road and I picked him up, and then I and then I um, took him to. Or actually, he drove to the okay. So you're dating Pete. Mm -hmm. But you're over visiting a Tony. He said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pete's, Pete's okay with you staying at another person's house? Yeah, he knows. Okay. Alright. He knows. This, uh, it, this isn't making a lot of sense to me, is, is why I'm asking questions. I mean, you, you get that, right? I mean, I'm answering your questions. Okay. It feels like my eyelashes are like, lifting up, so if it is, I apologize. Mm -hmm. Not gonna bother me with it. So, when I got here, you were passed out behind the wheel. Mm -hmm. Cigarette hanging out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. You didn't wake up the people that tried to knock on the window before they called us. Well, I'm sure. I have I have my music playing, so... Either way, you didn't even wake up when they knocked on the window. By the time I got here minutes later, you're still asleep. Not yeah, responding I to anything. Getting, I knocked I on been... the window, nothing. Yeah, I, I had to been... open your door because I was kind of worried about you. Yeah, I haven't been getting very much. Yeah. You failed two of the tests outright. The walk and turn and the one leg stand were not very good. And then during that one where I asked you to estimate the passing of time, it was pretty slow. And that's all consistent with drug use. So I'm going to ask you one last time. When did you last use? 287. Got it. I just wanna. I know what you wanna do. I just want me to leave and you wanna go about your day. <laughs> um, unfortunately, today, you're behind the wheel of the car. Everything that I'm seeing screams that you've been using drugs. Okay? No, I haven't. And you can't give me any actual explanation as to why you were acting the way that you were. Yes, I did, actually. I said I was sitting there smoking cigarette, getting ready to take my things upstairs. Lots of people do that and they don't fall asleep. And when they do, when people knock on the window, they wake up. Right. People that are and on drugs don't. If my, if my music was playing, I probably didn't notice them there. I didn't even play when I went to the door. Well, it was playing. Cause I, I actually, just got, I actually so. just got my phone fixed because I had to get a new... I That's guess what I'm start. doing is I'm asking if there's anything at all that you left out. Any drug use anything that would explain what's going on, medical issues, other problems. No, I've had two parts of the When was the last one? Um, oh, it's been, the last one was on the day after Christmas, I would say, um, like three, four years ago. That was, yeah, that was not the second part one. of what's going on today. The heart surgery stuff. There's nothing from that that would explain what's going on today. Um, I don't. I don't know because I, I haven't been uh, taking, you know, taking my uh, my medication and stuff like my antibiotics that I'm supposed to be taking. To, so I don't know, but that would. Well, I'm concerned, based, I on, to, the, I to, like, based on all the things that I saw, I'm concerned that you're under the influence. 
okay. up right now. So what I need you to do is turn around and put your hands behind your back. This standard procedure includes booking, during which the suspect's personal information is recorded and additional questioning to gather comprehensive details about the incident and any potential offenses. Am I being arrested? Yep, for drinking and, well, for drugs and driving. Can't be other, under the influence of okay. drugs while you're behind the wheel of the car. We'll get to that in a minute. I have some stuff I gotta work on right now, okay? I'm not gonna do latte as well, consider a cigarette because you've been decent with me, okay? Is there anything hidden on you that I need to know about? No. Nope. You have to search, so I'd prefer knowing about it beforehand if there is anything hidden. Is there anything at all hidden on you? Okay. Any needles anywhere in your car or on you? Okay. If I find needles and you lied about that, I'd be really upset. I understand. Because it's just about not getting hurt, okay? Right. I is, there, is there any needles in there? Anything on you? Okay. There's no pockets on this, right? No. <laughs> Close to nothing. Alright, let's go sit in my car. Do you need anything out of your vehicle? Yeah, I need my phone, I need my um going around to the other side here. Seat. No, we gotta have you in the car right now. Can you, Cortez, can you hand me the seatbelt from the other side there? Can you hand me the seatbelt from the other side yeah. there? That, no, oh, that one right there. Here, can you give me some slack there? Oh, that's the slack. Hold up, it's all twisted up right now. Not right there. Okay, so he is going to be searching your car, okay? So now, now is the time, if you have something in there, now is the time to be truthful about that. And why is he just to search my car? Because you're arrested for operating while intoxicated. And the car search comes with that. What are we going to find in there? Watch your feet there. You're closing the door. You want to so with me. I got Scott here and he can... Do you want to just stand here and make sure that she's alright? You don't have to open the door or anything. Just let me know if she's doing anything problematic. Subsequently, she was presented in court and formally charged with driving under the influence. Following legal proceedings, she received a 60-day jail sentence and was fined $1,844 as part of the judicial outcome. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To stay updated on our future videos, click on the notification bell icon after subscribing. 
Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.